In an astonishing development that has sent ripples across the global automotive industry, Volkswagen CEO Oliver Bloom has unveiled a revolutionary new engine, claiming it will upend the burgeoning electric vehicle market. The announcement, made at a grand event in Wolfsburg, Germany, was nothing short of a dramatic turn in the saga of the automotive world's transition to electrification. The new engine, named the NEO Combustion Drive, represents a significant leap in internal combustion technology. According to Bloom, this engine combines unprecedented fuel efficiency with near zero emissions, challenging the prevailing notion that the future of automotive propulsion lies solely with electric vehicles. Bloom detailed the workings of the NEO Combustion Drive. It's a hybrid of sorts, but not in the conventional sense. It utilizes a compact, highly efficient combustion engine, working in tandem with an advanced energy recovery system. This system captures and reuses energy typically lost in traditional combustion engines, vastly improving efficiency. Volkswagen's bold move comes at a time when the automotive industry is heavily pivoting towards EVs. Companies like Tesla have become household names, with their Model S and Model 3 setting benchmarks in EV performance and range. Traditional automakers like General Motors, Ford, and Mercedes-Benz have also committed billions to their EV lineups, with GM announcing plans to go all-electric by 2035 and Ford launching its Mustang Mach-E and F-150 Lightning to critical acclaim. Yet Bloom's announcement suggests that Volkswagen sees a different path forward. The CEO argued that while EVs are undoubtedly a part of the future automotive landscape, the internal combustion engine shouldn't be hastily written off. The NEO combustion drive, he claimed, offers a more immediate and pragmatic solution to reducing emissions, especially in regions where EV infrastructure is lacking, or where the transition to electric power is slower due to economic or logistical challenges. The technology behind the NEO combustion drive is indeed groundbreaking. Volkswagen engineers have apparently achieved a thermal efficiency rate approaching 50%, a number previously thought unattainable in gasoline engines. This efficiency mirrors that of the most advanced EVs when considering the entire energy cycle from source to wheel, factoring in electricity generation and transmission losses. Furthermore, the engine's emissions profile is astonishing. By utilizing a novel catalytic reaction process, it drastically reduces nitrogen oxide and particulate emissions, addressing two of the most significant environmental criticisms of gasoline engines. It even outperforms many EVs in regions where electricity generation is still heavily dependent on fossil fuels. The response from the rest of the automotive industry has been a mix of skepticism and intrigue. Toyota, a longtime advocate of hybrid technology and a leader in hydrogen fuel cell development, expressed interest in understanding the new technology, hinting at potential collaborations. In contrast, Tesla's Elon Musk took to Twitter to dismiss the announcement as a regression, reaffirming his belief in an all-electric future. What makes Volkswagen's announcement even more intriguing is its timing. Just a few years ago, the German automaker was embroiled in the Dieselgate scandal, involving large-scale emissions cheating. This new technology, if it lives up to its promises, could be a significant step in Volkswagen's journey towards redemption and a reassertion of its technical prowess. For consumers, the implications of the NEO combustion drive are profound. It promises a middle ground, offering the environmental benefits of an EV without the need for extensive charging infrastructure or the anxiety over range. It also provides an alternative for those not ready to transition to electric vehicles, whether due to cost, preference, or practicality. However, the announcement has not been without its critics. Environmental groups argue that any investment in internal combustion technology is a step in the wrong direction, detracting from the push towards a fully electric future. They caution that the long-term solution to transportation-related emissions lies not in refining fossil fuel technology, but in embracing renewable energy sources. The global market will ultimately decide the fate of the NEO combustion drive. If it delivers on its promises, Volkswagen could redefine the trajectory of the automotive industry, providing a bridge between the internal combustion past and the electric future. However, if it fails to meet expectations, it could be seen as a last, futile stand against the inevitable rise of electric vehicles. The significance of Volkswagen's announcement is magnified by the company's storied history and global footprint. As one of the world's largest automakers, 
any technological shift it undertakes has far-reaching implications. It's not just about a new type of engine. It's about how this innovation might influence global markets, affect policy decisions, and shift consumer attitudes. In the United States, where the EV market has been growing steadily, thanks in part to Tesla's dominance and initiatives from traditional automakers like GM and Ford, the Neo combustion drive could either be a disruptor or a mere blip. American consumers, who have been gradually warming up to the idea of electric vehicles, might find the promise of an ultra-efficient, low-emission combustion engine appealing, particularly in areas where EV infrastructure is underdeveloped. In Europe, where stringent emission regulations and aggressive carbon-neutral goals have accelerated the adoption of EVs, the reception might be more mixed. While the advanced technology of the NEO combustion drive addresses many environmental concerns, it does not entirely align with the vision of a fully electric future that countries like Norway and France are aggressively pursuing. Meanwhile, in emerging markets like India and Brazil, where the transition to electric vehicles is hampered by infrastructure and economic challenges, Volkswagen's new technology could be a game changer. It offers a more immediate and practical solution to reducing emissions without the need for extensive and costly infrastructure overhauls. As Volkswagen gears up for production, other major players in the automotive sector are closely monitoring the situation. Some, like Hyundai and Honda, have expressed cautious interest, acknowledging the potential of the technology, but reserving judgment until real-world performance data is available. Others, particularly those heavily invested in electric technologies, view this development with skepticism doubting whether it can truly compete with the advancements made in battery technology and electric drivetrains. The technology industry, too, has its eyes on this unfolding scenario. Companies like Panasonic and LG Chem, major players in the EV battery market, are assessing the potential impact on their business models. If the NEO combustion drive gains significant traction, it could slow the explosive growth expected in the battery sector. The global automotive industry, historically known for its fierce competition and relentless pursuit of innovation, is watching every development with keen interest. Industry giants like BMW and Mercedes-Benz, known for their engineering prowess, are undoubtedly analyzing this new technology, weighing its potential impact against their own electric vehicle strategies. This situation creates a complex chess game, with each player calculating moves and counter moves, Considering whether to embrace this new technology, compete against it, or continue their current course unabated. For industry analysts and enthusiasts, this period is marked by intense speculation and debate. Forums and social media are abuzz with discussions comparing the Neo Combustion Drive to various EV technologies. Comparisons are drawn with Tesla's latest battery advancements, Lucid Air's impressive range capabilities, and Rivian's adventure-focused electric vehicles. Each has its strengths, and the question now is whether Volkswagen's latest innovation can carve out its own niche within this diverse and rapidly evolving landscape. The impact of Volkswagen's announcement extends beyond the immediate automotive sector. Oil and energy companies are closely monitoring the situation, gauging the potential impact on fuel demand. A more efficient combustion engine could extend the relevance of fossil fuels in the transportation sector, albeit in a cleaner, more sustainable form. This possibility may offer some respite to these industries, which have been preparing for declining demand in the face of electric vehicle adoption. On the regulatory front, governments around the world, especially those that have been aggressively pushing for electrification, are faced with a new variable in their policy equations. The promise of a cleaner combustion engine may lead to a re-evaluation of subsidies, tax incentives, and infrastructure investments currently geared towards EVs. This situation could become a contentious political issue, as policymakers strive to balance environmental goals with technological neutrality and market fairness. As the world watches, the first prototypes of the NEO combustion drive are hitting the roads for real-world testing. These tests will not only determine the viability of the technology, but also shape the conversation about what the future of automotive propulsion should look like. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.